Hey everybody, Jazzy here. I got a quick Don't Starve Together guide for you today. I actually learned by accident while working on my multi-shard dedicated server guide that it's really easy to link up different cave entrances on the surface with different cave exits in the caves. It's actually quite simple and the best news is you don't need a dedicated server to do it. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do it right now. I'm using too many items right here, by the way, uh, just to give myself creative mode and god mode while I'm configuring these portals. So the first thing I like to do is find the cave entrance that I wanna link. So we'll say this one by the B flows looks good enough. I'm gonna put a sign down and I'm gonna write link me on the sign. Now I'm gonna crack down into the caves and find out where this cave entrance currently puts me inside the caves. Now I'm down here, I'm going to give myself creative mode again, and I'm going to drop a trap on the ground. And I'll explain why I'm doing this in a moment. Uh, but it could be any sort of craftable thing, as long as there's only one of them in the world. So now we're gonna find a cave exit that we wanna link up to that original cave entrance. So I'm just gonna hop around for a second until I find a cave exit that I really like. Yeah, that's boring. Boring, boring, boring. Boring. Close to a green mushroom forest. Boring. Actually, all these kind of suck. Okay, this one's kind of cool because it's right next to the muddy biome. So, like, if we're gonna be getting lots of, uh, you know, glow berries or trying to find the ruins, so this will be a good exit. Whatever. We're going to link this up to the original cave engine. So, what we're gonna do is make another sign, put that down here. Uh, link me, please. And then we're gonna hop up these stairs and see where the stairs are currently putting us in the overworld. All right, back up here, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did down the caves. We're gonna craft a bird trap, and we're gonna just drop it on the floor. Just like that. Okay, so now at this point, we can start linking up the uh, two portals that we want. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the sign that we placed up here, and the prefab is home sign, right? That takes us over here, this is the one we're gonna link. All right, now check this out. Every portal has an ID in the world, and since you get 10 portals generated per shard, so like 10 cave entrances on the surface and 10 cave exits in the caves, they each get a number one through 10. So all we have to do to link up portals is to give them the same ID number. So what we're gonna do is give this portal ID number 11. You see, set ID 11. And I'm going to paste this command in a paste bin uh, downstairs. But I just hit enter. You couldn't see it, but I did. Okay, so now this has the ID 11. If we travel through the sinkhole, because there's no portal on the other side with ID 11, it's going to put us at the player portal in the caves. And that is to be expected. So now, to get back to the cave exit that we want to link up, we're going to go to that home sign that we placed down. And now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the cave entrance upstairs. We're gonna run this command. We just have to change the prefab from cave entrance open to cave exit. Hit escape. And then we're gonna set the ID to 11. And the great thing about auto linking, which is kind of a pain when you're trying to manually link worlds, but if you set the IDs of cave entrances and cave exits, they automatically link to each other. So they automatically look for a portal on the other side with the matching ID. So let's hop through here and see if we get a cave entrance next to a sign. Awesome. Uh, let's travel back down just to make sure it indeed brings us uh, both ways correctly. Awesome. Works. So if that's all you want to do, then that's pretty much it. Now this will leave you with one cave exit and one cave entrance that are kind of orphaned. They don't, they no longer connect to a corresponding portal in the other shard. So what those portals will do is just teleport you to the player portal on either shard. If you're okay with this and that's totally fine, you can leave it like that. But in case you do want to link up those orphan portals to each other, that's really easy too. So we're going to do the C go next command. And remember those traps we left on the ground? Ah, ah, oh, there's another one in the world. <laughs> so much for unique to the world. Here we go, here's here's the skinned trap that we left on the ground. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna give this an ID number 12 because we know that that ID number is not taken by the default portals, right? Oh wait, cave entrance, we gotta change the prefab to cave exit, right? So now this is ID number 12. We're gonna hop through here. It's gonna take us back to the postern, right? 
And now, we just go to the next trap in this world. And there it is. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, ah, we're going to give this ID number 12. Cave entrance open is the correct prefab. Bam, now let's see if we get back down to the exit with the trap. There we go. All portals have been successfully reconfigured. And now they go to where we want them to go. Yeah, if you spawn in new portals in the world, then they automatically get assigned IDs that are like incremental. So if you spawn a new portal in a world, it'll give you the next available number. So if you have default portals one through 10, then the next one you spawn uh, spawn in will give you 11 then 12 then so on and so forth and in general it's easier to change the ids of portals than to try and link up portals with different ids in fact i'm not even sure that's possible but yeah changing the id numbers of portals is pretty straightforward just you know make a backup before you do any portal reassignments just in case things get screwed up you can always either roll back or just restore a game save and as always the disclaimer is i'm not responsible for your world so attempt this at your own risk but yeah that's it for this guide i hope you found the info useful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions take care